Hey my pretties, this is crazy. I'm back on YouTube. So in today's video, I have a week collaboration with Ali Pearl and they sent me their Body Wave unit, something that is high quality, um, top quality, A grade type of wig that you can wear on multiple occasions and it's not gonna die on you. It's not going to fail on you. This is the type of wig that I'm installing today. This wig is a 26 inch, I was close, it's just right in the middle, um, Body Wave 13 by 6 HD lace. 250 density, this cap size is small. It is Peruvian virgin hair. Um, so yeah, like, like I love this wig guys. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> When I tell you that was my first reaction to seeing the wig on my head for the first time and I was beyond shook. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to get your lace melted for a beginner friendly install. Okay, so the first thing I did was I sprayed it down with Ibn spray and this is literally a must. I feel like using a wig cap when you're installing your wig is a really good way to get a finished and flushed look. When installing HD lace wig caps, I feel like the best thing to do is to place the band on top of your head instead of tying it in the back. I learned this method off TikTok. I swear TikTok comes in handy and it's taught me so many ways and tricks to do my wig and make it really nice. So right now I'm just cleaning up the excess and I'm just making sure that it's really put down and flat with a wig band and so now what we're doing is the best way and method trick whatever you want to call it is you just line it up and this is just to cut off the ear tabs i learned this off tiktok as well like can you believe it how many things i've learned from this damn app i feel like forget school tiktok should be our school anyways so now we're just cutting it so then i can trace it over and I just flipped it over again so I can trace it really nicely. And I don't have to cut it on my head. I can cut it just like off my head. And it's just so easier so that I don't cut too much hair off or I cut too less of hair. You get me? You feel me? That's what we're doing right now. See how I'm just cutting it and following the traces we made? And that really just helps navigate where your placement is. And it just it executes it every single time. Like, you're not going to get it wrong. So then now, after that, you just put your foundation. Or you can also put your contour. Because, as you can see, guys, I have, like, a darker shade on top of my forehead. And that's usually your contour. So you usually go with your contour shade. And then now we're just doing the glue placement, which is the fun part. No, it's really not. It takes forever so i'm just going in with my first layer with a red tail comb and then my second layer as well and then after that we're just going to repeat that step one more time i'm doing three layers because i really want this week to last me two weeks because it is so nice and guys when you do this please blow dry on a cool setting and then we're going to after placing it, we're just going to go on the second side. So I do it in sections because it's so much easier doing it in sections, guys. You find that you don't make more mistakes like I do in the past when you do it um, in sections instead of doing it all in one go. Because once that glue is sitting down, what can you do? Nothing. I did put the other side of the glue a bit too early, um, but that's fine. You know, you learn from your mistakes, guys. And, you know, the thing is also, like, sometimes the glue dries better when it's a bit more wet than just, like, dry and not tacky. Because you want it tacky so it can really sit there and, like, really get sticky and hold onto the lace. So that's what we're doing right now. We needed a cranberry juice break because this is hard work, guys. This is hard work to be a fun babe. Hey, 
you have to put a lot of work into it so that's what we're doing um and what i do also is well after i place this down is i brush it with a hot comb and i just comb it all back so the hairs don't get in the way when we're going to cut off the lace and then we just put the wig band on to secure it and we want it to really um melt so that's what we're doing and i use two wig bands so i use my black regular regular one and then i'll put the ellie pearl one because it's so pretty and i cannot miss out on putting this wig band because it looks so cute it's matching the vibe you feel me more cranberry juice because this is hard work this is very intense after i cut off the lace i just spray it down with some ibin just to give it a max max maximum <laughs> maximum hold you feel me so yeah and once you cut off the lace then you just you always cut off the lace a little bit um further than where you put the glue so then you can spray it down with ibin and it will melt nicely you know it won't be sticky and all that and then now we're going to create the baby hairs the edgers you feel me i need, I need to stop saying that you feel me lol and I want a little bit, a little bit of in the widow's pick because it's very nice for me. Some of the girls on Instagram, TikTok have been complimenting me, contemplating me, complimenting me, saying I look nice. So I really want to bring it back. And I love it. I just love the widow's peak look. Um, I didn't want to do too much because like I do want to wear this wig in versatile ways. And yeah, so we're just making the edges and I like to pluck a little bit of the hair just so I can give realistic baby hairs, you know? I want to look fresh out the womb. I want cow licks. Uh, well, it's not giving cow looks. It's going to give very much edges, but yeah, I want slick back edges. Yeah. So yeah, this is also a really important step, guys, when you're starting your beginner wig journey. Always invest in a little mini hot straightener. Hot straightener? Is that even the word? Or like, I mean, the iron mini straight up. You, f you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, we're going to cut it and we use it because it really helps and it emphasizes your edges and it makes it look really nice and put together. Yeah. So once you're done that, you use your hot comb and the hot comb comes in handy to give you that slick back appearance. Appearance. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to use that. And then once that's done, I just want to revamp my curls, make it pop. And yeah, you know what you do to me between me and you. I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. See no one Thank you. 